In this video, we'll go over downloading bid documents and submitting bids. If you've been invited to bid on a project, you'll receive an email with the subject, invitation to bid on, and then the project name. In order to bid, you will need to be the original bid invitee, so if this email has been forwarded to you and you try to access the bid, you will not see the bid package. If you have problems accessing the bid package, please contact your point of contact at the company who sent the bid invitation and request that they add you to the company directory. For security reasons, Procore's customer support department cannot give you login credentials. Here, we are seeing the email sent to Paul, a plumbing contractor. This email displays all of the relevant information pertaining to the bid. At the top of the email, we will see the name of the company and the name of the company's project that Paul has been invited to bid on. Here, we will see bid details such as the package name, who the invitation was sent by, and when the bid is due. Below that, there is additional bid information and messaging, as well as the cost codes Paul has been invited to bid on. If the company, in this case Procore Certification, that sent Paul the bid invitation has decided to attach their bidding documents including relevant spec sections, drawings, and additional files to the invitation email, he can download all of them in one zip file by clicking this link here. If the files are not attached here, he will be able to access them from the bid sheet in Procore. In the email, we will notice two buttons that will allow him to inform the bid administrator whether or not he will be bidding on the project directly from the email. If he does not plan to bid on this project, he can simply click No, and the process is done. If he does plan to bid on the project, and will submit a bid at a later time, we recommend clicking Yes so the contractor will know to expect the bid before the due date. To place his actual bid, he'll need to log into Procore. If we need help submitting a bid or downloading the bid documents, the Instructions for Bidding section will give us all the information we need. To log in, new users will want to click the link View Bid Package and Submit Bid in Procore. This will prompt them to create a username, which is the email address that received the invitation to the bid email, and to create a secure password for their account. Existing users can click here in the indication to bid message to log into Procore and then be directed to the project's bid sheet in the project owner's plan room tool. If the bidding documents were not attached in the bid invitation, we may either download them or have them emailed to us by clicking the appropriate action buttons. If Paul has not done so already, he can click one of the buttons in the banner to indicate whether or not he intends to submit a bid. If he has any questions for the bid administrator, he can email them by clicking contact. To place the bid, let's click enter a bid and input the amounts for each cost code. Procore will automatically add up these numbers for the total bid. We can also add inclusions, exclusions, or comments to the bid here and attach supporting documentation like the full estimate by clicking the attach files button. If Paul only has part of the bid ready, he can click save for later and return to the bid at another time. Once he's finished entering all the bid information, he will click Submit Bid. This banner will appear when the bid has been received by Procore. The company who owns the Procore account will be notified of Paul's bid, and he will receive an email notifying him of the status of his bid once bidding has been closed. In the event that he receives an addendum for the bid, he can come back into Procore to modify the bid amounts or even his intention to bid. Thanks for watching.